Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion node breakdown. Today's node is the Relight node. So we're going to jump into Fusion and we got some footage. And let's say we want to relight this a little bit. Maybe add something to this side of our face. We can do that with the Relight node. So I'm going to hit Shift Space, Relight. And if you notice, we have two Relight nodes. And one is the Fusion and it's got the shorthand RLT afterwards. The other one is the uh, DaVinci Resolve OFX Relight node, which we'll go over tomorrow. So let's go ahead and select this Relight with the RLT shorthand, and we're going to add it. And what the Relight node is going to allow us to do, it's going to allow us to add light sources to our scene realistically. And what it's going to do, it's going to illuminate using uh, a map, kind of like a depth map, but not really a true depth map. We're just going to use that map to relight. So once we plug our footage in, it's going to look like this. So that is our map it is creating internally. Now on the node itself, we have our effects input, which means uh, we can limit where this effect is taking place. And it's got a normals input right here. So if you have another normal map, you can input it into this and use that normal map instead of the internal map it's creating. And you select that up top. So our surface map, right now we're using our internal, which it is creating on its own. But if we wanted to use this input, we could go ahead and use the normals input. And if we were to use our normals input, this green input right here, we have uh, additional settings down here for our external map. And to kind of show what these do, I'm going to fake a normal map. So I'm going to copy this read light node. I'm going to paste it. And uh, I'm going to input our footage into this relight node. Now, you really wouldn't want to do this because it's going to give you some odd effects trying to create a normals map and then re-input it into another relight. But up here, if we're using our internal map, we can output our surface map. So now it's outputting normals. But if I right click, you can see our channel still just our RGB and our A. But if I go up here and select output to auxiliary normals, and I right click our channels, you can see we have normal channels coming out. So we have our X, Y, and Z normals coming out now. And this is what this input is looking for is those kind of normals. So if I input this and you can see it has some odd results, which is why I said you'd really don't want to use a relight node to create normals to input to another relight node. But on our relight node, if you were to input a correct normals channel, down here for our external map, we have the ability to rescale our oversaturated areas. Additionally, we can reinterpret on the left and the right or reinterpret up and down. So let's go ahead and delete this as to not confuse you. Let's go back to our use internal. So again, we can output our service map if we want. Up here, we have three types of lighting to use, and we're going to start with our directional lighting. Now, for each source, we have different display options over here. So under directional, we can just change the direction of our light. We cannot change these other settings, but we can change the direction of our light if I can grab it. Right here, we have relighting map preview, which is this black and white preview. So if I uncheck it, this is our actual output. Now with that, just remember if we have this checked and I look at our alpha, you can see it's all white. If I uncheck it, we're actually exporting an alpha now. So you can see this is our alpha channel. This is our RGB channel. So to be able to bring this in correctly, because we don't want to just output this source, you kind of have to build your node tree to use this node correctly. So let's go ahead and add a merge node. We're going to bring our original footage into the background. And let's say we just want to recolor this to add some color lighting. Whatever effect we're using, we want to bring that in and bring that into the foreground. And our relight node is going to go to the effects input of our merge node. So now if we go here, we can uh, go to our color and uh, let's make it something drastic so we can see what's going on. So you can see we just added a purple light. 
And if we go to our relight node, now we can start moving that light around to get the look we want. So under light properties, we have brightness, so we can change the brightness and we can change the contrast. Under our surface properties, we can change the glossiness. And if I look at our relighting map node here, you can see what it's doing to that, uh, that map. And if we have our glossiness up, we can change the specularity and we can change our shadow softness. So again, if we look at our merge node, you can see the difference. If I turn this back on, our alpha is going across the entire thing. So if you see your lighting is going across your entire image, it's because you forgot to turn this back off. Under our light direction is exactly that. So we just have an X, Y coordinate for this little light direction. And of course we have our external map, which I already covered. We also have point source lighting. And when we use point source lighting, we're going to get a uh, two different options for our light. So we can move our point source around and then we can change the height of our light using this little slider. If I go to our light position, you can see we have our light source location and then our line height. We can use this slider or we can use this little gizmo to change the light height. And then under spotlight, we get the typical uh, spotlight display gizmos so we can change the location of our light target. And if we go to our light position here, you can see our light target is moving. Additionally, we can change the location of our light source as well as our light height. So let's go back to a uh, point source because we're going to use this and let's change that light a little bit. So we can go to our color correct and get something a little more realistic and say uh, we just want to warm up the side of her face there a little bit. So we went from this completely cool image to a little warmer look coming from this side. And that is the relight node. I will see you in the next no breakdown.